What's up? What's up, everybody? Hey, God. Um, Wanda fire. invited her followers. Thank you, Wanda. What's yeah, up, Charlotte? Yeah, so you're getting it. Relationships. One-on-one. Again. Hey, 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 hey. What's up, Trey? What it do? Prince Akeem, thank you for inviting your followers. See, Surat. Surat, get out. Uh, I don't I'll want you right. in here. Me, 1048. Thank you for inviting. Jay Russell, thank you. We just trying to hit y'all up real quick before Empire comes on. It's whack anyway, but we just want to hit you before it comes on. Miss Kind 7, thank you. I am Janet. Bless you. Joy Broadway, you know I love you. Trey Chosen, God bless you. Lady T, God help you. Heaven smile on you is my prayer. NTMGX, bless you. Yes, it is whack. It is super, super whack. Springfield, God bless you. Hey, Springfield, Ohio. That's right up the road. Yeah. Empire yeah. sucks, but we know you're going to watch it anyway. Miss Shannon, 77, Car Tyson, God bless you. Divine Diva, thank you for sharing. God bless you. Bless you. Surat, get out. Hey, Lexi, love you from Columbus. Now, you know I'm a Buckeye. God bless you. Boom, 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 boom. Jamal, terrible. Bang, bang, bang. Jersey, what up? It's wiggity whack. Jacksonville, Lady World, God bless you. Lafayette. Nate Jr., what a do? The real David Dixon, thank you for inviting. Bless you. Invite, 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 invite right now. I hear God saying invite. Invite, invite, invite. You got why do you have to, why when you hold it, you got to say it a thousand times? Invite, 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 invite. I hear God saying invite right now. There's about five people right now that yeah. God is speaking to. He said <laughs> invite right now. Invite. That is the word of this hour. Yes. This sensation invite right now. God is saying that. Yes. In this hour. Thank you, Jesus. We use this in church a lot. In this. Yes. On. Be yes. On. That's a preparation. Proposition we enjoy. On tonight. On tonight. What's up, Texas? Why can't we just, why can't we just say tonight? Because we why, can't. I, it doesn't the, sound as good. Yeah. Dr. Lee Grant, too. What's going on? Listen, all right. Tonight. Hey, what's up, So Free? We're not going to hold you long, amen. Be before you. We're, we're not, we won't be before you long, amen. But around uh, Purple Diva, God bless you. Um... <laughs> Uh, Brother Chris Reed, Doc Reed is in the building and he wants to help you uh, with your relationship issues, your relationship problems. Amen. And on tonight, he's going to talk about a subject just for a few minutes. Uh, if you would incite your hearing. I don't even know what that means, but it sounds good. If you would ignite and incite your hearing. Amen. Praise God. And and uh, you, you, you'll learn something. Amen. Praise God. Chris. Yes. What is it that you wanted to talk about on tonight? Well, on this evening, yes. I want to talk about a specific type of woman. Mm. I want to, again, we've alluded to her a little bit in the past, but I want to talk about, uh, she goes by many names. My God. The doormat. Mm. Uh -huh. mm. The pushover. Jesus. Uh -huh. The servant, the martyr. Uh, she can be characterized by being called thirsty. Oh, God. Uh -huh. Oh, God. And this, this particular type of woman, um, she's very interesting because... She justifies her actions by saying, um, I'm just a nurturer. Mm. All right. I'm I'm just a giver. Walk heavy, right? Doc. Uh, huh? Walk heavy. Walk heavy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this is true. Women are nurturers. However, this done out of place um, is, uh, uh, is not going to serve you well. Okay. And here's the thing that you have to understand about men, women. Um, is that we hunt now you're going to hear me say this a lot okay if you follow me now when i say that we hunt think of it about like this if you've ever heard of uh a man going on hunting this um uh, expeditions i'm sorry mm -hmm. uh they will take all of their gear they will go to africa they will spend thousands of dollars why they want to chase something through the wild yes all right. Yes. They want to chase a buffalo. They want to chase a lion. They will sleep out in the elements. They will get bit by mosquitoes and all kind of craziness just so that they can capture that one big prize. Preach. All right. Preach. And that's how we as men hunt when we are dating. OK, we want to feel like we went through something. All right. Oh, yeah. So if you are the doormat. All right. If you're the pushover, if you're any of these kind of things, then it's not going to mean that much to us. All right. So very quickly, what I want to do, ladies, I want to go through some characteristics of the doormat. And I want to tell you how a man interprets that My God. Right? and why 
you don't want to do this. All right. So first, she makes sure she's available whenever he calls. Now, let me be clear. We're talking about when you're dating. All right. Talk, sir. You're not talking about marriage and all that. That's a whole nother game. All right. We're talking about you just meet a guy in the beginning stages of dating. Okay. Um, that's what these apply to. So she makes herself available whenever he calls. What does that mean? That means she could be out with friends. Yep. She could be out with family. Yes, sir. Okay. She will stop and drop everything that she is doing. Stop okay. Stop so that drop. she can be available for him. My God. Um, what does this do? For the guy. Well, you know what this does? This conditions a guy to think that whenever he says jump, you're going to say how high. My Jesus. You spoil him. Yes. I know. Come on now. I hear you. You talking. All right. This spoils a guy. Now, we just talked about the fact that the guy wants to go and hunt. Yes. All right. He'll go as long distances to get what he wants. So if you make yourself available whenever he calls, what is that doing? Okay. That's not making him want you. Mm. All right. Um, because here's the thing, if it was the opposite, is he there every time you call, mm -mm. does he drop everything that he's doing so that he can be there for you? Jesus. Okay. Probably not. All right. All right. Second. <laughs> Come on. Chris. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. Come on. Second, she feels guilty when she says no and tries to establish her boundaries. Okay. We still so talking about the doormat. We're talking about the doormat. Yes, sir. Talking about the doormat. We're talking about the martyr. Okay. Yes, yes. We're talking about the pushover. All right. When you say no, when you try to establish your boundaries, you feel guilty. All right. Now, he may ask you to do something and you really don't want to do it. Maybe it's, you know, it's, it's causing you to do something to go way out of your way. Mm. Okay. Um, and you say no. You try. You, you really try to muster up your Holy Ghost and you say, I'm not going to do it this time. All right. And he's, he pouts, all right? He gets upset, all right? And then you give in, all mm. right? You don't feel good about it. Mm. You feel awful about it. Mm. Now, what does this do? It's the same thing if, if, if it's a two-year-old, okay? If you give in because they fall in the black, you know what I'm saying? Right. And then all of a sudden you say, all right, I'll do it. What does this do? This conditions him to think, all I have to do is act a complete fool Talk. And she will give in and do whatever I want her to do. Wow. Wow. There's no thing involved in this, ladies. All mm. right. And it doesn't serve you well. It's not going to make you want to stick around. You know, it's going to cause you the same effect that um, I entitled a video series. Why he married her instead of you. Say okay? it again. Say it slow. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Whoa, no. Why he married her instead of you. Woo, okay. Jesus. Um, and, some, there's you know, something in that, Reverend. There's something in that. There, there, was, you enjoy that? there was glory on that. You, I, I, I might want to hear that again. What is that? What was the title again? Uh, why he married her instead of you. Jesus. Uh -huh. My yeah. God. Jesus. And that's what happens oftentimes to the doormat. Because you know what? They said, I gave, I gave, I gave. I did all that I thought that he wanted me to do. And he left me. He would never marry me. Okay. I was with the Joker for years. Okay. Six months later, I hear he's engaged to somebody. My all God. right. Ladies, this is why that will happen. He ran into somebody that wasn't the doormat. They knew who she was. Mm. And she stood up for herself, okay? She made him hunt and made him chase, all right? Let's get one more, mm. all right? Hopefully mm. this is helping somebody. Oh, I believe right? it is. Uh, she worries excessively if he doesn't call when he said he would call. Say it again, sir. She worries excessively if he doesn't call when he said he would call. Say it one okay. more time, Bishop. And, and here's what she will do. My she God. will blow his phone up with calls and texts asking, what's up? What's going on? Where are you? I thought you were going to call me at 8. Mm. Okay. Mm. And so by the time he does actually reach out to you, he says something like, you know, I was just hanging out with the fellas. You know what I'm saying? I just got caught up and time got away from me. You know what I'm saying? My bad. And instead of making him, how should I say, uh, be responsible for the fact that he said one thing and totally did something else, more than anything, she's so elated that he reached out that it doesn't matter. Wow. Whenever he's, okay, I'm coming over, she's there. Wow. All right? So this is mm. the characteristic of the doormat. My God. Um, there's no spine. And in her mind, 
uh, somebody said insecure. Yes. All right. Yes. So she thinks that she is doing everything that she should be doing. She thinks she's being a good, wonderful, God fearing woman. Yes. Okay. And has no idea why he doesn't appreciate this. Mm. All right. Ladies, uh, you, and you got to get this. Now, I know there's somebody listening to me. Unfortunately, am I stuck, Reverend? No, sir. Keep going. We're good. Now you are. What happened? I definitely was calling you. Oh, okay. Praise God. Well, you're here now. Now, you were in the middle of talking about yes. the insecure doormat. And where yes. you left us is, you know, that person is always available for phone calls and all of this. And you were getting ready to hit something. I up. was. I, I was actually getting ready to hit a very serious stride, and I actually definitely forgot what it was. Oh, uh, um, so what I'm going to do... Um, Bring, while it I wait him, on, Bring it back to him, God. Bring it back to him, God. Bring it back. Yes. yes somebody, somebody, if someone could remind me of... Uh, it's... Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. No, what? no, no. No, no. Hey. No, no. Huh? No, no, this is not working. Hey, here I am. Yeah, you're freezing. No, I'm not. You were frozen and the video turned off completely. I'm, am I here now? Yep, you're back. You're back. Yeah. The devil. The devil is the Satan. The, the Lucifer does not want this information. You better say it out. real quick before he does it again. Get it out. Because it's going to help families. Go. Okay, that's what it is. All right. So, hey, listen, if you want to hit me up, go to ChristopherReed.org. That's my website. You find a lot of stuff there. Um, follow him. Yeah, follow me. Uh, if you need help, we can do a 30-minute free consultation, find out what your situation is, get you going. All right, listen. Okay, can you hear me okay? Yep. Go. Yeah, I lost your picture. but um, Oh, now this is a big one. Okay, the doormat will continually beg him okay uh -huh. to talk to her when he seems to be pulling away wow this is a huge no-no ladies so oh. if you feel him pulling away he, oh. he more than likely he is yes he's definitely pulling away okay you know, you know what because let me say this because the problem is a lot of times in this and chris has walked me through this guys will start pulling away but then they'll try to make you seem like you crazy They'll really be pulling away, but then they'll be like, no, I'm not pulling away. I mean, what's wrong with you? Like, why you think, why, why, why you think that, you know, that I'm doing that? I ain't doing that. Listen, if you feel it in your Shondo, he is. Am I right, Chris? He pulling away, straight up. Yep. You know, God gave you ladies something that's called intuition. If you feel it, he's definitely doing it. Okay. Yep. But what you don't want to do while he's pulling away is you don't want to try to pull him back. No. Okay. You don't want to. You don't want to beg. Okay. No. This is. It's got desperation written all over Talk, it. Talk, sir. Got doormat. It's got thirsty. Whatever word you can think of that sounds like desperate. Don't do that. Don't do okay. it. Going back to the hunter. All right. This is not going to make him want you more. That's right. It's not going to make you more desirable. So don't do it. Don't okay. Do it. Because the more that you insist that he talk to you and give you attention the more you're going to push him away the wow. more he's going to want to get away from you wow. okay and it makes him even more frustrated no it will it will make well it makes him frustrated but it'll make you even more frustrated and confused why he's unresponsive right. okay so this is what you do ladies give him all the freaking time that he needs yeah all right and if you do this now this is where you're going to have to know god you okay if you've been, if he's been infected, and we don't mean in a nasty sexual way, yes. okay, what we mean is emotionally, there's a very strong connection there, there is a bond, there is chemistry, okay, he will come running, okay, when he misses you. Yeah. Won't he do it? You won't he do it? So he will. Yes, he uh -huh. will. Sure he will. I mm -hmm. know it to be true. Yes, All right. Sir. Now, this is very hard for a lot of women to really trust and believe, Okay. Um, and maybe you can help with some of this, Lexi, because, you know, being a woman and, you know, going through all of this, um, you can speak to how you feel. You know, how does a woman feel when this pulling away happens and you're, you're hoping that a guy, you know, comes back? 
yeah. you know, and you're trying to stand on what you know is principle and what you know that, um, what you believe that you're not going to just put yourself out there and you're not going to be the doormat. How do you think, you know, based off your own personal experience or what you've ever, what you've heard from other women, how do you think they feel? Yeah, they, we, we feel like they don't like us no more. You know, uh -huh. men, men, men are pulling away because maybe we're uh -huh. not giving them what they want. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I saw somebody, somebody just said, I'm hurting. Get at me. Let's, let's talk. You know what I mean? I, mean, I know there's some ladies Wait, out here. Let me tell y'all something. Y'all need to get it, Chris. I'm telling y'all, he walked me through my relationships. What is it again? How can they come you? Christopher Reed, that's R-E-I-D dot org. Christopher Reed dot org. You can email me, whatever. And you know, here's the thing, and, and maybe you can speak to this because a lot of people aren't familiar with talking to a relationship consultant or coach or somebody to help them through this. You know, this is a pretty foreign concept, especially to most of us in the African-American community. So, um, you know, maybe you can speak to and you already done it, you know, how it can help guide someone through these steps and this uncertainty. And I don't know what to do, you know, because a lot of times when you're going through it on your own, and all you got is your girlfriends and their relationships suck too. You know what I'm saying? They, they care about you and they're going to try to be there for you as your girlfriend and no disrespect. But oftentimes they don't know what they're talking about because they ain't figured it out, but they're just telling you what they're telling you because they care about you. Oh yeah. girl, it's going to be all right. You know what I'm saying? You're going to find somebody. Um, Maybe you will. I don't know. Maybe you won't. You know, if you keep doing the same thing, you probably, I mean, you know, might not be good, you know? So, um, you know, just, we can talk, have a conversation. I can find out what's going on with you and see if it's something that I can do for you. What but, you uh, what's your Periscope name? The Doc Reed. I think it's already out there. It's, it's the same as my Twitter handle. The, at The Doc Reed. At The Doc Reed. D-O-C. Yeah, uh, yeah I'm a, I'll am type something in there right now. And then, you know, they can say, oh, that's you. Okay, I'm going to follow you like right now. Like, Y'all see well, it right there. He's saying hi. The Doc Reed. Can yeah. somebody write that? The Doc Reed. So that other people and follow him right now. He's saying hello right there. And y'all can follow him and he can periscope about relationships and all uh -huh. of that. And he can help you out. There you go. Thank you, Miss Miss La Jackson. Thank you, uh -huh. Cajun and Purple Diva. You got it? Okay, well, no, Cajun, you got that wrong, baby. God bless you. You tried. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Let God lead you, Reverend. Your mm -hmm. shoe. God bless yeah. you. Thank you. Yeah. Let him lead you, thank you. Lady P. Do. Cook. Yeah, don't you do it. So, so <laughs> lastly, we want to Last. say about the doormat. Men interpret the doormat as what? As weak. As, as easy pick pickings. As... You know, if we want to put it in hunting terms, you know, if you, if you got a wild, a, a lion or, you know, a tiger, um, are they going to eat the, uh, the, the food, you know, the little bunny rabbit or whatever is right before? I'm sure they will. Why not? It's food. I'm hungry. Okay. But, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? It's a snack, you know, but it's not going to give him the same sense of satisfaction. Okay. That he will have after he has chased Come something on. Come on. and hunt something Come on. for my and for days, Jesus. all right? And, this, and for us men, that's just how we are. We get a deep sense of satisfaction after, I mean, look at us with, with jobs. We seem to be so addicted to our jobs and work and trying to make it happen and you know, getting this money and all of that. But it's that thing in us that makes us want to strive, okay, to accomplish something. Yeah. And that's how we feel about the women that we love, okay? Yeah. Um, so that's what I want to communicate. Now, there's a lot of women out there, I'm gonna say this, a lot of women out there, I'm the 300 sub dot grads. Okay, my right. Um, there's a lot of women out there. You don't identify with this at all. This is so foreign to you. This doormat, you're like, mm, I don't even know her. I don't even do the You know what I'm saying? I get that because you're the CEO type female. Okay? Yeah. Your mm -hmm. thing, you're like a dude. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? You kick butt, you take names, I ain't, but it's a lot of masculine energy. You know? So that's a whole nother class yeah. you know right now because i wanted to take it in sections you know so we're gonna get to you we're gonna get to the ceo all yeah. right it's, it's about four type of women that we're gonna talk about all right and this is the first one the doormat so uh like i said hopefully ladies you get something from this 
you get an understanding based off the symptoms that we you know put out there and if you've been doing this there ain't no shame no shame at all trust me you definitely not alone you don't know what to do i saw somebody put out there that i'm hurting okay so i know that somebody that's listening to me right now i know i'm talking to you i know that you're going around the mountain i'm saying you're doing a 40-year trek you right and you don't know how to get into the promised land all right um you can get out of that cycle trust me yes all right and if you can't figure out you know after you've prayed and labored and you know um, you've tarried and you've sought the Holy Ghost and you still figure, feel like, you know, there's something missing, you know, you may need to reach out for help, you know, so absolutely. Get at me. I can help you, I will. Absolutely, absolutely. I think I'm too quick to say next. Okay. Yeah, but sometimes, you know, a lot of times when somebody's too quick to say next, you know what that comes from? A fear of being hurt. Yeah. You know, That's a lot me. of women are so guarded. Um, That's me. Because if, do you do Skype sessions? Sure, I do. Get at me. You know, when I'm coaching, I do, you know, I we do phone calls, Skype, whatever, you know. Uh, this is so good, Reverend. I know it is. I know it. And I ain't even just saying that because it's me. I just believe God. That's mm -hmm. funny. It's hard to know. detach your feelings <laughs> as women. We think with our heart very often. Yes. And like I said earlier um, on the outset of this, women do, when they do this doormat type stuff, it's because I'm nurturing. Um, you know, I do Skype time. The nurturers don't win in the beginning. They don't. No, not the beginning. He'll marry you know. somebody else. If you don't, no. listen. Turning the camera around. If you don't they listen. They say I'm a giver. They say I'm a giver. That's another big thing. Yeah. If you don't listen to what he's saying and you keep doing and making the mistakes and you keep calling and you keep chasing and, and you keep doing the things that Chris is telling you not to do, you're going to lose. Hence what he said why he married her instead of you that'll bless you it's gonna bless you because the, he's not going he's not going to come after you he's he's not because you're coming after him you chasing him which is totally against scripture period you can nurture what's yours when you marry when when you're engaged you can do all that when you're married you can do all that but when you're dating and you you got the spirit to do too much sit down because you're doing too much and you letting him just sit back while you chase. You calling him, you texting him, what you doing? What's up? Where you at? Really? That's a lot. I mean, you just, you're just doing a lot. So have a seat, absolutely. Yeah, there's a man right there, Chris, saying we love to chase. I mean, I'm just saying. I'm not going, I'm, I'm, I'll call you when you call me. Here's, the, here's, here's what Chris has taught me. I'm going to give you, oh, my, my, hasha, I feel God. I'm going to give you, now this is, this is Chris over the years. I'm going to give you the same energy that you give me. If you call, I'll call you back. But I'm not always available each and every time you call. I may see your name pop up. Look, I'll hit him back in a minute. It's not... If I'm doing something, because usually we will break our neck. Our boss will be staring us in our face and we'll take the L and may pick. Let it go, let it go to voicemail. He'll be okay. Wait, 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 where are you going to go? Where, where, where are you going to be? That's Ain't nothing better than this. There's nothing better than this. So you got to find that balance between you can't be thirsty, but you can't push him away by being the, the CEO and I don't need no man either because that don't, that don't rock. That, that ain't gonna work. No, no. If you're heterosexual, you do need a man at some point, ladies. I'm just, you know, don't worry about it. Anything you'd like to say in parting? Um, I, I think that we really knocked it out the park. You know, I, I think that for the doormat especially, let me say this. I know we dropped a lot on you. And this goes totally contrary to what you're used to doing. And, and when you try to do it, I'm just going to prepare your heart and mind. It's going to feel as wrong as a $3 bill. Yeah. It really is. Um, and that's where you're going to need um, some reinforcing, um, whether it's coaching, whether it's, you know, read a book or whatever. But I'm just going to prepare you that it's going to feel wrong. Doesn't mean that it's wrong. No. But it's going to feel wrong you know why okay. because we've been doing it wrong for so long men are not complicated somebody said we are no we're not no not not a, and you know what oh my i say that chris 
Chris told me a long time ago. Chris is my dude. Chris told me a long time ago. I used to say the same thing. I was like, people say that women are complicated, but it's y'all that's complicated. He said, listen to me, grasshopper. Listen to me. He said, listen to me. He said, men are the simplest creatures in the world. If you do what I'm telling you to do, you're going to win. If you stop doing it your way and listen to what I'm saying and just do what I'm telling you to do, man, listen, he changed my life. And they are the simplest creatures in the world. I can't believe they don't want much. They don't ask for much. But to crack that shell of their heart, to penetrate that shell over their heart, it's difficult. And that's why you need Chris. It's difficult to penetrate that shell. But once you, and I'm a whole shit, but once you penetrate that heart, but he's going to teach you how to penetrate the heart. If you ain't penetrated the heart, you just out here floating around. You look like the next girl. Yeah, you fine. Yeah, you got a little waist. Yeah, you got a big booty and all of that. That's cute. But a lot. Of that's a lot, lot of of it's a lot of those. Yeah. Yeah. And it's a lot of those it's a lot of those that come with a lot of headache. Yeah. Yep. Yep. For real. But you but know, but but Kim, Kim Kardashian been married several times for a reason. Watch it, sir. Ali Berry can't keep a good man for a reason. Watch yeah, I think you're talking. I, I, you know, I'm saying something, Am, you know, Amber Rose and all that she doing, you know what I'm saying? And she's doing you know a saying? lot and she's doing a lot. <laughs> Yeah, she was doing it on the blackish. And but you, she 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 been plat passed around. What? Mm -hmm, like a like a fake one hundred dollar bill. Yes, and yep. she can make hey, she got talent. She can make them booty cheeks shape individually. It's a blessing. That's God given. That's God given. That's a talent. Mm -hmm. That's a gift. And she can work for any circus. I know that. Yes, she can throw that mm -hmm. thing in a circle. It's a it's a ba da ba da ba da ba. It's a blessing. It's a ba da ba ba ha shot. That's that's the that's what a booty do. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's what it do. <laughs> That's what a booty do. Right That's there. what a booty do. Yes. But that, you, but that ain't gonna keep you in a relationship. <laughs> Talk, sir. Talk, sir. That's the truth. That's the yeah, truth. Dear. Ah, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah that my, ain't my. gonna keep you. You know, that may get you for about five seconds. Yes. You know, it, it got her on some private planes. Yeah. Oh. Them booty tricks hey, got her on. Got her on prime time television. Yes, it did. Hey, that's high ratings right there. Ain't it? It's, it's mm -hmm. amazing. Let me tell you. It's, ama it's amazing what that booty will do. It's amazing where that booty will get you. Oh, it'll open doors for you. Ain't my hot shot. I feel it. it it'll open doors. That booty, my, it'll, it'll get you into places that you've never seen before. Yes, sir. Oh, but after they're done. Oh, when it's over. <laughs> Uh, after benediction has been called, yeah. <laughs> after the yeah. right hand of fellowship has been extended. Yeah. Yes. After the doors are closed. Yes, sir. Yeah. What do you have? Uh huh. <laughs> Halle Berry got all kind of Academy Awards and no man. Oh, oh my, oh my. I'm not trying to be personal. I'm just saying that one don't have nothing to do with the other. That's right. We think you it know? does, though. We think that beauty and that booty. Has something uh, not my hot shot. Now that's a book. That's a book. Yeah. That's a book. Yeah, yeah. I believe it's a book. You might want to start writing. Yes. I just want a ten percent. I just want that tithe. Okay, I understand. Yeah, you know that's but you mm -hmm. gotta penetrate the heart. Being pretty is nothing. I wouldn't say that drive. Being pretty is, is cool. I mean, I'm not saying that it's nothing. You know, you do want to try to get in shape. You do want to do the, the best you can. You don't want to dress like you're homeless. You you want to do something. But seriously, how many how many guys how many guys women that you think he's drop dead gorgeous that he's with a female that you really consider just to be okay? You know what I mean? So that ain't everything. It's all in the eye the beholder. And That's I'll right. tell you one thing. A guy that a, a woman that don't take a guy through a lot of stress but still knows who she is, that's beautiful. Straight up. Yeah. Say that that's again. Beautiful. Say that again. A guy that is not necessarily drop dead gorgeous. She know how to work what she has. You know what I'm saying? Don't get me wrong. But she knows who she is. She don't keep a lot of drama. That's beautiful. That's gorgeous right there. Yeah. A lot of trust me. If a guy is really talking straight talk, he'll tell you that's attractive. Yeah. I agree. I agree. Mm -hmm. That's a good word. All right, you preached on tonight, Doc. 
Hey, listen, I know everybody is hurried, um, in a hurry to get to Bible study empire, um, uh, yes. tonight. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Um, they hold in church at nine, I believe. Yeah. And, uh, the saints want to get there. So I don't want to hold nobody up. Yes. So, well, how can Pastor I hit you? Jamal, Pastor Jamal, I believe is speaking this evening. My God, my God. Mm -hmm. How can they reach you, Bishop? Uh, Christopher Reed, R E I D dot org. You can go there right now. Actually, you know what? The scope that we did the very first time, uh, it's out there. All right. Somebody said, you. Bria Nicole said, I needed to hear this. Thank you, Lexi. We love you, Bria. God bless you. He's speaking on the booty, too. You got to speak on the booty, Sarah. You got to. Like I said, this it's right real. here, mm -hmm. it ain't going to keep you. Yeah, no, no. It won't, it won't keep it. Keep it warm one good night. Maybe two. <laughs> maybe three. <laughs> It's not, not the kind of love that lasts for a lifetime. No, but sir. You say, I don't need that. No, sir. It's not a lifetime love. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's <laughs> a booty. <laughs> hey, tomorrow, you're just going to find yourself right here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Lexi, can you help the single 30s find husband's man? No, but he yes. can, Tasha. This guy can. Mm -hmm. This guy. They out there, ain't they, Chris? They out there. It's plenty of guys. They out here right now. They 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 on the Periscope. They saying, hey, listen, we out here. Guys tell you all day long, great, wonderful, single guys looking for somebody. They hunting, though. See, that's the thing. A lot of the women are saying, can you help us find? They're not findable. Whoa. They're not desirable. My God. They're not huntable. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. Yep. Do too yeah. much. So. You, you, you got to watch that when you say, you know, can you help me find, are you, who, what condition are you in? Are you the bunny rabbit? Yeah, I'll sop you up and then toss you to the side. I'm looking for that lion though. Yep. 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 But you know, get at me, you know what I'm saying? And we can assess that. That's it. Christopher Reed. No, I'm, not, I'm not in the NYC. I'm in, uh, I'm right outside of Dayton, Ohio. Yep. That's it. Yeah. All right. Who's the one we name drop before we get out of here? We got Florida love bug. People like me and say, Tanya, I see you. Okay, your shoe story. I feel you on that. I don't know what that means. Um, That's all right, but, NYC. God is everywhere. And we're going to find you. We're going to get you together, shoe story. We got you. Okay, Nikki, let us get your names. Type out your names so we can bid you a, a fond adieu. God good bless night. you guys. Oh, y'all. Empire comes on. Florida, thank you. Miracle City, amen. Uh, Chicago. Amen. Shoe story. Oh, I see what you're saying. Your shoe story. Kiera, oh. thanks for joining us, baby. Chicago. Amanda. What's up? Amanda. Amanda, I need you to get a picture. What's up, Latasha? Angela. Tiffany. Shauna. That was good. Six. Good word. Leslie. Tolson from London. Yes. Uh, Janet. Courtney. Sharon. Uh. All right. Little Rock. I am on it, Lexi. All right. God bless you, Nikki from Arkansas. Nikki Surratt. Oh, okay. There's another Surratt? There's another Surratt. Sharon. Wow. God. Keisha from California. All right. Good night, Kansas City. Austin, Texas. All right. Austin, Texas, by way of Detroit. All right. Marla, your pal, how? Okay. <laughs> okay, Detroit. Demetrius. Demetrius from the DMV. All right, all right. That's my cousin. Oh, oh okay. Cousin. okay. All right. Yes, it is. Push through, Cleveland. From Cleveland. I know a lot about Cleveland. I was born in Cleveland. Oh, amen. Amen. Yeah, well, Chris, yeah. tell your wife I said hello and your two lovely daughters. Well, dude, tell Joe I said what's up. I will do that, man. Love you, bro. All right. Take care. Appreciate you. Okay. All right. Thank y'all for joining us on tonight. Lexi, sing my heart. My heart belongs to you. My heart belongs to you. I'll never give myself to another. My heart belongs to you. Tasha Mack, I'm not singing a bye. Mm -mm. My heart belongs to you. Would you be my spiritual mom? No. I'm too young to be anybody's mother but Michael Allen's. Too young. Can't do it. Be your sister. Hey, Erica, what I, where is that Mark? They've been asking for my brother-in-law, Mark, since he's been on, Chris. It's, it's so crazy. Yes, God. Huh? Oh, he's a fool. He's a fool. 
All right, y'all. Bye. Love y'all. Love y'all. Love y'all. Love y'all. Tomorrow, I'll be at the uh, Festival of Praise tour. So I'll periscope y'all from that. Joe and I are going go to the, go to the concert. So we'll periscope from the Festival of Praise tour. Fred got me some tickets. Hey, man, I believe in supporting. I would have paid. <laughs> but why pay when you can get in free? <laughs> I don't know. I just said, don't worry about it. <laughs> I said, Fred, you got a couple tickets? He said, I got four. I said, that's even better. I'll invite some friends. God bless you. God help you. God love you. They bad up all whole shape. All right, bye. Bye, y'all. Bye, y'all. I will periscope tomorrow when we are at uh, the concert.